What is up, fragrance lovers out there everywhere on YouTube? Thanks for joining me, Stephen Sturgill. This is my channel. I'm your host for the next several minutes. If you were with me in my most previous episode, we took a look at Atimo Oro and Black Musk by Salvatore Ferragamo, which I believe dropped in 2012 or 2011. I forget. Uh, at any rate, this is the original uh, of which the Black Musk is considered a flanker, sort of. Uh, this is Atimo Boron, a little bottle. This is the little cap that goes with it. it says Ferragamo on an imprinter. Snaps on as such. The cute little bottle. I got this, guys, for about 15 bucks plus shipping online, so pretty cheap as frags go, fragrances. And I'm not going to spend too much time on the box. This is the box, 1.3 fluid ounces, 40 mils. It is an eau de toilette. It's got the reference number and a bar code. And looks legitimate. I hope it is. I believe it is. I got it from a trusted source. Uh, so, although I, if you were with me on the previous episode, I loved the black uh, musk. It's very refined, very sexy, very uh, sophisticated, gentlemanly. But it also is mature. And uh, this one is all of those things. Now, if you remember, the Black Musk had two severe weaknesses. It may, maybe three if you're being uh, very picky. Uh, doesn't have much active projection power. So I had to go very, very, very heavy to get it to do enough of what I was looking for. I was also going into a long shift. I needed it to last. Um... So there, and then just in terms of longevity, longevity is quite bad on these frags. Uh, those are the only two real weaknesses, I suppose. Um, while the Black Musk uh, was somewhat unique, uh, this Atimo is not as unique. This is a little, ever so slightly bit more generic, but it's generic in terms of what would be typical for Italia, you know, circa 2008, 2009, 2010. It's, it's generic for pretty good stuff for Italy. It's not generic like for the rest of the world for whatever is considered like a drugstore level cologne. No, that it is not. This is also fairly sophisticated. It smells really, really good. Not quite as nuanced as the Black Musk. Uh, not quite as sexy, but it, it does smell very, very good. It does smell mature. Um, you know, there's a little bit of herbal spicy. There's lots of woods in here and some musk, uh, maybe some pepper. Let's get into the notes. In fact, I don't want to be just playing guessing games. Uh, like a lot of earlier Salvatore Ferragamo's offerings, I could not find the nose. So if anyone out there knows who actually designed this frag, please shoot me a link or a post or a comment. Now back to the notes. Uh, we get marjoram, cardamom, mandarin, and black pepper in the top notes. Obviously expect those to kind of sparkle away as the cologne wears on your skin. Uh, heart notes are saffron, I love saffron. Pimento, I got into that recently as well. Sage and olibadanum. olibadanum. Am I saying that right? Oliba olibanum, excuse me. Ah, olibanum or olibanum, however you, however you say that, I have no freaking idea. Uh, base notes are patchouli, vetiver, labdanum, and white musk. So guys, this is a woodsy, sort of, almost slightly spicy oriental. Also, you, you get those herbs from the marjoram and the cardamom, black pepper. We get those spices along with the cardamom. Obviously, cardamom is not a herb, but uh, sage, pimento, and saffron. Uh, and then the labdanum, along with the, you get that gray green vetiver subtly with that white musk. So this is just a very gentlemanly, um, what's the word? It, it's sexy, but it's not like overt sexy. You know what I mean? It's not like sexy in your face. There is a sexiness to it. But more than that, I think there's a refined uh, Italian, you know, gentleman's air about it. It's just, it's a very good fragrance for what it is what it does it doesn't portend or pretend to be something more than what it is this is not niche this is not a super frag uh something like an ultra uber designer frag that's going to set you back 
you know, 150 bucks uh, for 50 mils. This is not that. This is a great way to smell great on a shoestring budget. That's what this is. And it does smell very, very good indeed. This could make someone a fantastic daily cheap go-to when you're not willing or don't need to pull out uh, the bigger guns. This could be your tweener scent. Like if you're if you if you're spraying something in the morning and you're not going out until late at night, you could spray this on after lunch and know that you smell good for the next couple hours. Longevity, longevity is an issue. I sprayed this on earlier. I did not go heavy like I did with the black musk because I wasn't going to be on a shift nearly as long. I only got about maybe two hours of active projection of this, and and it was very subtle at that. And after those few hours, it died down to a pretty modest scent bubble. And as of right now, it's reduced even further. I'm at about, uh, let's see, what time is it? It's only about a little over three and a half hours since I left earlier. And unfortunately, now it's already a skin scent. I mean, I can smell it if I go like that, you know, raise my shirt out. I could smell it in there, and I'm sure someone was right on top of me that they would probably smell it more than I do. But having said that, I can tell it's not actively projecting at all according to what I, I look for in a fragrance. Uh, but again, at $15 for, uh, what is this, a 40 mils, 30 mils, 40 mil for a 40 mil bottle, 15 bucks, guys, that is dirt cheap from where I come from. Um, Check it out, get a sample, order you a bottle. It's not going to set you back very much payola or scratch to get it. And until next time, we will, well, I will see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Spray often, spray well, and live life on your terms. Love you guys. Peace. I'm out.